This is what me and Bob, Traveler Bob, are boxing. Come on over here, Bob. We're not showing where we're fishing because we're boxing them, baby. We're boxing big, fat sweethearts. How many do you think we got? Four or five so far. Four or five? We might have more than that. <laughs> Double headers, baby. Double headers. This is what makes the world go round for Dave and Bob. That's right. <laughs> Bob just got this beautiful one right All here. All right. Bob caught a R, a 22 inch RB on the float rig. Yes, sir. Who let them dogs out? That dog didn't go out. He went out and he went right back in. <laughs> we call that a double header of trout. Okay. Bob's trying not to catch trout. What's he do? He catches another trout because why? We got our limit. So, adios, amigo. Unfortunately, Bob is still playing catch and release. Man, look at these ones we're having to throw back. Nice fish, Bob. Thank you. Who let the dog out? <laughs> Bob, will you stop catching these dang trout? I'm trying, Dave. They just won't play. I mean, geez, look. Just we just keep playing catch and release on these dudes. Time to make the donuts. Nice mess. A basket of tear out. Yep. Well, I can tell you this is officially for me. Take the cast nets out of the boat. Don't care. I'm float rig fishing. And it's all thanks to Hurricane Matthew making it a lot sooner than it would have been to be able to do something like that and it still not even be Thanksgiving. Because usually in the Mayport area, it's always around Thanksgiving when the water temperature gets cool enough and everything is just perfect. But there's still days when we'll go out and we'll catch small ones. But we had a bang up day today and we never left this area right here. Right around the boat ramp. Okay, Z-Light Infinity. Remember when I did the video about these? Well, let me tell you how sweet they are. They're, they're really, they feel good, and they really, they do a number on these fish. Nick says, get the chewing gum out of there. I mean, who let them dogs out? Woo! I mean, we're talking no effort at all. Look at that. Well, we easily had our limit today. Uh, no problems. Uh, three reds, three or four reds, a couple pups and one 22 incher. So folks, it's what I always talk about. Don't come here in the middle of July expecting this. It's go time right now. This is the time of year that we wait for 
so we can catch this, have big fish fries. This is it. Commonly known as go time. Trout time. Now you go out and you have a day like me and, and Bob just had. <clears throat> Guess what? The wonderful thing about this time of year is you go home with this. That's trout. And this is more trout. This is what Bob's taking his singletons for dinner. And this is all the dinners that he's going to have left. So if you want to have something like that, you better give me a call. Don't call me in dang uh, July. It's now. It's go time. Right, Bob? Absolutely. <laughs> the dogs are out. What are you doing? You need to leave. Move on. <laughs>